Hi adventurers, great to have you back again. Today we're going to learn about the Ladybug Award. Requirement number one, learn about the ladybug. What are the characteristics of a ladybug? Ladybugs are a type of beetle. As a matter of fact, in some countries they are called lady beetles and in other places they are called ladybirds. Here is a picture showing the ladybug and its body parts. Can you see it has a head, it has two antenna, two eyes and a pronotum. Then it has an outer body called the elytra, wings, abdomen and legs. The ladybug has six legs because it is an insect. Do you know that a ladybug beats its wings 85 times a second when it flies and their top flying speed is about 24 kilometers per hour? Can you see how delicate their wings look in this picture? Their wings are flexible enough to fold really small, but strong enough to fly. There's a really cool video on YouTube from National Geographic where you can watch a bit more about the wings and another one from PCO where you can watch the ladybugs take off in slow motion. The male ladybug is usually smaller than the female and also the spots on the ladybug fade as the ladybug gets older. Did you know that ladybugs hibernate in winter? Yep, you guessed it, that's why you can't see any when you go out on your walks at the moment because they're all sleeping. I bet you know what the ladybug's favorite food is though. Yes, that's it. Their favorite food are aphids and that makes ladybugs good for your garden. If you could see a ladybug eating, you would see that ladybugs chew from side to side and not up and down like us. I bet you didn't know that not all ladybugs are good to have in your garden though. Here is a picture showing two different types of ladybugs. The Asian lady beetle is not a nice ladybug. You can tell them apart because all Asian lady beetles have that M-shaped spot on their pronotum. Did you know a female ladybug will lay over a thousand eggs in her lifetime? And this brings us to requirement number two. Describe the life cycle of the ladybug and make a poster. You can pause the video now and do your poster if you like, or you can carry on watching and do it after. Here is a picture of the life cycle of a ladybug to help you. You can draw your own, or you can use the life cycle we have on page two of your worksheet. First, the female lays the eggs. You can see them in this picture. They all start off yellow. They are really, really tiny. In this next picture, can you guess what that red thing is next to the eggs? Yeah, you guessed it. It's a matchstick. I told you the eggs are really small. The eggs develop a shell, and then after five days, the larvae start to hatch out. Can you see those yucky looking green things? Those are the larvae. Here's a short little clip from the video by the Dodos, which you can also find on YouTube. This, video, this little clip shows them hatching. Can you see in this next picture how some of the eggs have gone green but some of them are still yellow? That's because mom doesn't fertilize all the eggs. That means those eggs won't turn into babies or larvae. Mom does that so when the larvae hatch they can eat those eggs and have a little snack until they find some aphids. Around day 18 the larva starts to shed its skin and turn into a pupa. The larva actually sheds its skin a good few times before it becomes a pupa. After 30 days they come out of the pupa and you have an adult ladybug. Here's another short video clip from the dodo, but you can see how they are coming out of their pupa and into a adult ladybug.
day 50, the adult ladybugs spend about a month just eating. Nothing else, just eating. No wonder they're so good for our gardens. Most adult ladybugs will live for about a year, but some adults can actually live for two years. Requirement number three. Are all ladybugs red? Can you explain? The answer is no. Not all ladybugs are red. There are over 5,000 species of ladybugs and they come in all different colors. Some even have stripes instead of spots. Here is a picture of just a few of the different kinds of ladybugs that you can get in Australia. Requirement number four, make two ladybug pet box and give one away. Well, adventurers, I really enjoyed learning about ladybugs with you. I hope you enjoyed it too. I'm going to say goodbye now, but don't go just yet because I have a cool poem that I'm going to read to you that I found on the internet. Have fun, stay safe, and see you guys soon. Ladybug, Ladybug by Charles Gingna. Ladybug, Ladybug, I beg your pardon. Would you please come and play in my garden? Come take a sip of the sweet morning dew that sits on soft petals just waiting for you. For lunch there are aphids and other fine dishes, sweet treats to please you, also delicious. I think you'll enjoy the evening perfume as you curl up inside the bed of a bloom.